Hey everyone, Mr. Spartan here, back into another video. In today's video, we're going to unbox these new Hammer Collection figures. And these new Hammer Collection figures are Claire Deering and Velociraptor Delta. I got these new ones um, recently because I've been trying to hunt these toys for like months now, ever since they were released. And I actually found Delta first. I couldn't find Claire Deering, so I got her online and I finally got her and she came today. So we're gonna unbox these two, and the first one I want to start is Claire Delta, or Velociraptor Delta, not Claire Delta. But um, this is the Velociraptor Delta from the Jurassic World movies. This is what it looks like the front. Here is she here, and the collection. Let's look at the sides, Jurassic World. And here she is, and here's a description of her. Here's some pictures. Here's a little description of her, and it says the second, the second biggest of her pack behind Velociraptor Blue, Velociraptor Delta is part of a Raptor squad trained by Owen Grady. After the Indominus Rex escapes on Isla Nublar, Velociraptor Delta and her pack are pulled into the hunt, but things don't go as Vic Hoskins predicted. That's a nice little description. We got little pictures, and we have these um like more to collect time and collection figures. I'm still gonna try go for like I'm still trying to find Pyroraptor and Owen Grady as well. And yeah, let's open this little time and collection figurine right now. All right, so here is the um, box without the toy. This is what it looks like. It's just clear. Exact same, nothing really special, it just looks clear. It's very easy to open. There's like tape here, you just cut it and you open it and you take it down, that's it. Now let's get Delta out. Which here she is right here. This is pretty cool. Very actually they really upgraded a lot. Like look at the feet, they actually upgraded more detailed I must admit. Now let's uh let's get her out here now. So here is Delta, the Velociraptor, of course, and oh my, she is very upgraded, like look at this, very much upgraded, has a nice like little head scope, it could open and close, somehow mine doesn't really close all the way, but I think I know why, because of this, yeah, um, the, the, the tooth is um, kind of out. For some reason, I don't really know why it is like that, but I'm trying to fix it, but it's not really doing it that well. Yeah. Yeah. But you can open the jaw, you can tilt the head around, you can move her neck, and right here she has a nice glass eye, as you can see right here. I don't know if you really guys can see it or not, but here it is. And the painting and the, like, um, detail of it is really nice. You can also move her arms, of course. You can see her little arms. Somehow I really can't move this one a lot for some reason. Yeah. This one you can move. And here is it. Yeah. They really upgraded the claws as well, because I think they never really look like this at all. Very nice upgraded. And we have the legs. You can move it. Here it is. And here are the up, like the legs here, or the thighs, or... You know what I mean, you guys. And... Ugh. I think you really cannot move this figure. No, you can't move the thigh around. No, you can't, I think. No. Um, are, are, you, are you supposed to, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to move like that. Okay. And we have the wee little legs. It looks very small. Very upgraded. Because <laughs> I remember their feet were, like, very big. And I think a lot of people didn't like this. So I guess they upgraded them to this, like, kind of small look of it could move it up and down like that and you could oh yeah you could just ooh, ooh, 
or tilt it around. Same goes for this one as well. Just tilt this little guy around. Very nice. Uprated legs. Very nice, nice touch to it. And very nice sculpting, very nice painting on her. Very nice. I really like it. Now, let's move on to its tail. And also, it's very painted as well. Like, they didn't actually stop it. Look at that. That's very cool. They didn't really, like, stop at the, um, at the painting. So, this is the tail. It's all the way. Very long. Nice little lines. And if I put it in here. There we go. So here it is what it looks like Delta herself. So what she looks like with um her full on tail and you could it's like a bend wire so you can bend it. Anything that you like to bend on it like this or like a tail thing like that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice articulated. And here she is. I don't know why it will not close for some reason, but uh, yeah. Very nice articulated head. Very nice. Now, since we got Delta out of her box, I'm gonna try to um, try to make a pose of her right now. And here is Delta, the raptor herself. Pretty nice, pretty cool. Really like it how they did it. Very nice indeed. I really like this one. And yeah, I really have no complaints about this one except for um her mouth, which is kind of bent. I have no idea why, but yeah, pretty much cool, must admit. Very nice. Now let's move on to Claire Deering herself, and this is the Fallen Kingdom version of her, as you can see. Here she is in the box. Here's her little accessories right here. Her backpack, here's her in the box, and here's the side of it. It says Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And here she is with some nice little pictures. Pretty nice. And here's the um these as well. And here it is, the description of her. When Claire Deering learns about the imminent eruption of a volcano on Isla Nublar, she travels back to save as many dinosaurs as possible after some close calls on the island and later at Lockwood Estate, her domination and drive never waver. Um, that's kind of an interesting end description. But yeah, here she is. Nothing really special on the sides or anything like that. Very nice upgrade under the box. And now let's open her out of the box. All right, so here's Claire, Claire Daring, Claire Daring herself, and let's get her out of the little plastic containment. And here she is out of it. And this is very nice. It's the Fallen Kingdom Claire Daring version of her. And here she is. This is the sculpt that they made for her. I don't know if you could really get it. Here it is. Here's a good good detail on her face pretty nice they got um nice jointments which i could move nice little jointments you can move her wrist you got another one you can move it up and down side and opened i don't know why that one's not really moving that much but Kind of strange, but okay. You can move the wrist up and down her waist a little bit like that. And we got her legs and you could also move these guys. There you go. You can move. There you go. See? You can move these things. Pretty nice. I don't know what I don't know what that is. Let me get that out of here. And we have her knees. You could pull, you could move them like that. 
I think that one's supposed to stay. There we go. You can move them. You can also move these things. Or you can move her waist. Or thighs are, I don't really know what to call these. I should call them legs, upper legs. You can move them. Goes for the same one here. Where you could probably make stop motion more. Pretty nice. And she comes with little accessories right here. She comes with her backpack. Here's her little backpack. Pretty nice, as you can see. Nothing really too special of it. But all we know is that we have little accessories for her. We have her arm. This is like her... Oh, like, is it supposed to, okay. So, this is her arm, as you can see. It's the same thing like always. Same wrist joinment, and I know that, um. Here's her other. Here's her other, um, hand. Here's her arm, you could move it around and and we can switch it so i can show you what it looks like without her long jacket one and yeah so here she is without her jacket this is what she looks like without her jacket and pretty much the same just without the um jacket and here it is with the um, jacket that's what the jacket looks like yep and yeah, that's pretty much it for accessories. And of course, it comes with a backpack, which I'll show you when I'm done, like taking her arms off and stuff. But yeah, nothing really too crazy. This looks same. Yeah, just I don't know. It, it just looks the same to me right now. All right, so here she is with her backpack cars pretty nice and also i completely forgot you could um tilt her waist pretty funny so here she is with her backpack accessory it'd be really cool if like you could like open it and put stuff in there that would have been a really nice idea but yeah that's how much this that's all there is for claire deering pretty nice idea that they use the um dim the fallen kingdom version more pretty nice indeed now if i have to be honest this these figures were really great i think my most favorite hammer collection figure of all has got to be the delta one somehow the velociraptor delta is very good it does look like her it does a little bit look like her in the movie version one like it definitely i could definitely see like the movie one more like with the figure like it looks really great i think the delta one's my most favorite from Claire, because I think Claire is okay. I wasn't really expecting a Claire Deering figure, like, I didn't know which version they were gonna pick. And they picked the Fallen Kingdom one, and I think the Fallen Kingdom one is okay, it's not really crazy or anything. But Delta, I think Delta is my favorite one so far, and I'll be trying and hunt the new other figure, which is the Pyraptor Helmet Collection figure. So stay tuned for that, because I'm gonna go hunt for that dude. So overall, I think my favorite figure of this is probably Delta, and Claire. Claire is a okay, okay figure, but yeah, that's my honest reviews. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.